Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the Electrical Guide. Today I want to show you how to thread rigid pipe. So I have here a rigid threading machine, and I'm going to do a half-inch piece today. I'm going to show you how to thread it and cut it and ream it with this machine. So first thing you do is you're going to grab your piece of pipe, and you're going to put it in the back of the threader um, through this vice grip right here. Uh, you're gonna, just going to slide it in, and you're going to rotate this thing counterclockwise to tighten it. You want it to stick out the front maybe five, six inches, enough that you can work with. So you can snug this back vice up counterclockwise. It doesn't have to be too tight. The front one, also counterclockwise, nice and tight. Give it a couple hits. Now we're going to cut the pipe, so line up your cut mark with the blades on this cutter and you're going to snug it up just a little bit not tight just so it kind of holds itself make sure it's centered between the two blades there and as this thing rotates in the forward direction make sure it's on forward you're going to use the foot pedal and it's going to turn the machine so obviously watch out make sure your hands aren't touching anything that might be rotating press the foot pedal slowly rotate the handle here it's going to squeeze those blades a little bit more into the pipe each time you rotate so you want to do it slowly once it comes to a stop you can back out and engage the reamer you're just going to lock it down and you can slide the piece forward and lock it in the forward position so it's just entering the front of the pipe now you have to make sure again that you're rigid machine is in the forward position and you're just going to pull you're going to pull against your handle here it's going to put some pressure on the inside of the pipe and it's going to ream that edge that you just created by cutting it so that uh, it's not a hazard to the wires once you pull them in later next you're going to engage your threader and this is set to half inch actually just shy of half inch which will result in slightly more shallow threads than the standard setting of half inch on this die. You're going to engage the handle. It's going to bring the dies into the threading position. You're going to pull it in so it's against the front of your rigid piece of pipe. Make sure you're oiling every time while it's turning. Constantly, constantly putting oil to keep it lubricated and so it doesn't get too hot and doesn't smoke. Once you pull it in a little bit, it starts to cut the exterior of the pipe and you can let go after it has a few threads cut and it'll continue to pull itself in with the threads it's already made. Make sure you're constantly keeping the oil flowing and dripping down into the bucket underneath. Next, I usually put it in reverse just briefly to clean the threads. So I'll step on the pedal just for a quick second before I disengage the cutting dies. I'll pull it out and move the cutting dies out of the way now you can clean your threads with a, a wire brush or you can use a cloth either way um, not with your gloves not with your hands it'll be hot and you'll see i have threaded about one inch or just over which matches roughly the factory threads that it comes with so that should engage roughly halfway in your coupling so it should, uh, should work out perfectly for you Make sure when you take the pipe out, you tilt it up and drain out any extra oil. And thanks again for watching another video with the Electrical Guide.